No big deal, just pounding some noobs on Modern Warfare 3 because I'm American Music and that's what I do. Wait, what's this? We go with the veteran from the US, Merc. Alright, welcome Merc. <laughs> what's up guys, this is Merc Music and welcome to the invisible gun glitch in Modern Warfare 3. I mean dude, my gun isn't even showing up here on Create a Class. If we look at all the other classes I have, you can see a preview of the gun, but this one is not even showing it. This gun is absolutely cursed, which by the way, big shout out to John the Mud Hammer on Twitter for sending this over to me. I'm going to show you guys exactly how this is done. All you got to do to get this broken gun in Modern Warfare 3 is go to your Create a Class. It makes it a little bit easier to filter by Modern Warfare 2 guns because this is going to be done on a Modern Warfare 2 gun. It's for the Tempest Razorback. We'll just go ahead and equip the base assault rifle so I can show you guys from scratch how you do this. It's so easy. Once you have this gun in your class, just go to Gunsmith and you need to add this barrel right here. It's the 17 inch IO XL barrel. Go ahead and put that barrel on and then go over to your optics and you need to put the Cronin Intless MSP 12 on. Now, as you can see, there are some other aftermarket part sites that look really weird. Like they clearly do not belong because this barrel, I believe, has an integrated sight. So technically you're not supposed to be able to put any other sights on the gun and you're not even really allowed to except for this one right here. I don't know how they didn't catch this, but before we equip the sight, this is what the gun is supposed to look like. This is the built-in integrated sight that's normally here for the Tempest Razorback, and when you ADS, it just looks normal. This is what the gun is supposed to look like. But if we go back to the optic section and we equip the aftermarket part sights that is not really supposed to be on the gun, yeah, I mean, this is what it looks like right off the bat. We had the inspection at the beginning of the video where I was just goofing around and stuff. It completely changes the gun, and when you go to ADS, <laughs> It just whooshes right above your character. Now, I think when other people are looking at you, they can't see this. So this is only from your perspective. There's absolutely no benefit to doing this whatsoever. I know it's a glitch and people are probably going to call me a hacker when we go to use this thing online. But the reality is that this is really a terrible glitch to be doing for actually playing the game. I know it removes the gun from your first person model. So it, like, it kind of makes it easier to see things. But you also lose your crosshair. You can't really see where you're aiming. Now, obviously, I have center dot turned on. That's just what I have on all the time. But there's really no benefit to doing this whatsoever. It's just a goofy little glitch for fun. You could use it for trick shotting if you wanted to, to try to hit a cool shot, you know? But aside from that, there's really no other utility. It's just a goofy little glitch. I did save a variant of the gun called Invisible Gun. If you guys want to copy this build, this is what I'm using on it. It's not really anything special. All I really did here was put on a 60 round mag because I can't really see exactly where I'm shooting. So I want to be able to fire off more rounds and I put some other attachments to speed it up because the magazine really does slow the gun down. I think I'll start off with some Vortex to see if I can get any reactions by getting a kill cam with it. But yeah, if you guys do enjoy this video and you want to see some more weird gun glitches or some other goofier cursed gun builds on Modern Warfare 3, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's see if we can freak some people out. My favorite map. Stop. 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 What? <laughs> I just got here, buddy. Put the ACR away. I, I was just looking at the stop sign. My gun is so glitched. Look at this laser just going all over the place. I didn't even notice that before. That's actually kind of really bad. Okay, this lobby's gonna put me to sleep. I do not like playing Cory. It's just so slow. I just kind of realized that this glitch would be pretty good for catching cinematics. I mean, the laser does kind of bug things out, but that's pretty cool. It would still be so much better if we had theater mode in this game, but yeah, that's not going to happen. I mean, bro, we still don't even have the tier aftermarket part. I don't even know how many times I'm going to have to mention that in a video, but I'm going to keep talking about it until it's here. I want to use it. I'm starting to use Modern Warfare 2 guns now, bro. Come on, we got to move. We got to move. Wyatt and how are you not dying? What? This is about to be the dumbest looking feed ever. <laughs> it's just, it looks so stupid. Have we ever had a Call of Duty glitch where the gun just fully disappears off your screen and you don't even have to like actually see anything? Bro. Cause this is so dumb. Nah, trust me, this map is one of the worst maps to play this game mode on. No! Yeah, even the kid hates it. It's not just that, like these motherfuckers are just like melting me as I'm, sh I'm shooting them and then they're turning on me and killing me. Like nah, yeah. bro, that ain't. Sus. Uh, sus. Yeah, they're probably just hacking. They're probably cheating. Want the kill cam, but I don't think I'm gonna win. Yeah. I'm still not even close to the magma camo. It says three tiers remaining. Am I getting close? Oh, they fixed the XP thing. Yeah, I think I'm like halfway to the camo, but I haven't been playing as much, honestly. As of lately, it feels like they really cranked up the skill-based matchmaking, and dude, I don't know what's going on, but this game needs ranked play, so it could take the sweats away from the pubs. I'm getting real tired of seeing ranked play skins everywhere, and every lobby just being loaded up with sweats. It's crazy. I'm thinking we'll try some search and destroy. Maybe I can get some reactions from my teammates if they're spec. 
spectating me. Which, speaking of sweat, we have some new skins in the store. They call this one Metamere. <laughs> oh, the skin's the new Meta! Why does this just look like Zerg's evil twin? We have that, and I think they also added the actual CDL skins for each team. Yep, there it is right at the bottom. You can't use COD points for these. You have to actually just spend money on them, which is interesting, and they're 12 bucks each. I'm not exactly sure if this actually supports or helps the teams or not, but I don't really have any beef with the CDL or the competitive stuff, but I mean, like, the pubs have been too fucking sweaty. I'm not talking about British pubs. I'm talking about the fucking game. I think my play here is I'm gonna hide in a bush, like right here, and then when people are spectating me, I'll switch over to the invisible gun. One minute remaining. Woo! He knew I was here, so he just chucked a C4. Wow, that is so cool, dude. All right, maybe we'll just go for kill cams then. All right. Get it right! That's what you did. That's what you did. I mean, seriously! Get familiar! You just don't see nothing. Nah. Yo, try to get a three next time. How about that? Dude, I have a I've been winning all night with a pistol. That's the first game I won. Sorry, fing bitch. Those dudes were just beefing the entire match. Dude, I can't even put any of that in the video. Just spewing the most vile, despicable things to each other. Like, what is this? Do they not follow the code of conduct? Do they not play this game with integrity and respect? Yeah, definitely not. This lobby, it is so boring. Take that, bald boy. <laughs> Oh. Really? Okay. What are you doing there? This has got to be one of the strangest lobbies I've seen with the weirdest camping. Like, what are you still doing there? That's got to be messing up the spawns, too. Like, no one's going to spawn there if you're just laying there. Get off the ground. <laughs> I want to try to do something funny, but everyone's just camping, so. I can't even move. There we go, it's done. Then again, no one's talking, so we'll see. <laughs> Killed with invisible gun. Also, I know this is totally random, but I figured I'd give you guys an update on how things are going with the upload schedule and New Year's resolutions and stuff. I think for the music channel, it had been a couple of months since I posted a video and I just uploaded a cover of Circles by Joe Satriani if you guys want to check that out. I'd recorded that before when I still had like really long hair and stuff. Just figured I'd give you guys that warning so that way you're not jump scared by how long my hair was in that video. And I think I'd mentioned this in a different video, but I did post a nerd plays as well and the schedule is definitely going to be more on track this week. Just in case you're not familiar with the schedule, this is what it's looking like right now. This is what I'm going to do my best to stick to. Now, some videos won't go up on those exact days because there might be certain situations where I want to post less or more depending on what's going on. But I just figured I'd give you guys that heads up in case you didn't see it. And I know this is totally out of the blue, but I wanted to mention it anyway. I'm actually down like six pounds from last week, which is insane. Over the last week, I didn't order out a single time. Karina and I have been meal prepping and stuff, and we've just been cooking at home, eating healthier and stuff. Also trying to get some decent exercise in at least so like three to five times a week. Ideally, it would be daily, but there's just some days where I either don't have the time or energy to do it. I feel like that's especially hard to pull off if you're not sleeping well, and there's some days where I just don't get good sleep at all and that just makes it like really difficult but yeah i figured i'd just mention that it feels so good to actually like stick to this shit i'm not gonna lie man the first couple of days of not ordering out it was genuinely so difficult like it's become such a bad habit to just keep ordering out but what is really nice is that when you get over those first couple of days of just saying no and sticking to your new good habits and stuff it gets so much easier like now i'm not even really craving fast food or ordering out currently that feeling is just gone and it's so nice man I know it's not anything that spectacular or revolutionary, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. Yo, GG boys, check out my fancy gun. It don't exist. <laughs> he's hacking. Yo, he's whoever, hacking. Uh... Immediately I get called a hacker, of course. He's obviously hacking. Trust me, bro. I can see it with my glasses. I know it's a sussy looking gun glitch, but if you see someone in the lobby doing it, they're not cheating or hacking. It's just a weird little attachment glitch. It is not cheating. It is not hacking. Obviously, they don't know that, which is why they're going to freak out. But in before Shadow Band, you know what? The Tempest Razorback, I never got all of the camos for it. This was a DLC gun from Modern Warfare 2. Almost had to the bouncing Betty. You really put the bouncing Betty there to camp with a bass? I'm not even doing this. But yeah, like I was saying, I never got all the camos for the Tempest Razor back. It was a DLC gun in Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, I was so mentally checked out of Modern Warfare 2. I was like, I'm not going for long shots. I don't have Platinum. I don't have Polly or Orion for it. We could go for it in this video, but 
Actually, yeah, let's do that. I don't really know what's good for long shots. I don't think you can get them on me. We'll just do some hardcore objective game modes because that should be pretty easy. I think all I need is long shots and some headshots and I should be good. They're definitely gonna wanna play ship miss. Oh my God. Wait, it's ship miss instead of shipment? Wait, why do we still have the holiday version of shipment instead of the regular one? Yeah, dude, straight up, this is still holiday shipment. Yeah, they might need to fix that. Now we're definitely playing Modern Warfare 2. Holy. I mean, we got our feed. We should really be going for long shots. I really don't want to play shipment unless I have to. Okay, they're voting meat. I mean, we can't even get a regular map. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play meat. I actually want to go for long shots. God, I thought I'd never utter those words in my life. All right, boys, we got some favela. We're going to be going for some long shits. Why, Why are you looking at me like that? He's looking at all of us. Why are you... What? What is he's got the pistol. Like... All right. I don't know how to get long shots in this game. Uh, this is not going to be fun. Oh wait, we got one. We. I don't know where I'm shooting. This could be a problem. Oh, hello. I, I mean, I'm going for long shots. Do you mind? All right, we're gonna reposition. Okay, well that was a kill. This is actually pretty cool for cinematics. Like I might have to do some experimenting with this later because I'm pretty sure Sledgehammer Games will patch this glitch and we won't be able to have access to this gun anymore, or at least like the broken attachment. So you won't be able to record cinematics like this at some point. That was weird. All right, long shots, here we come. Th I don't like this. This is probably why I never got it done on Modern Warfare 2. Like, I just, I, I, ah! I don't want to do it. <laughs> we got one long shot. It's just so painfully boring and tedious. Like, I don't want to do it. And at this point, it's for a mastery camo that is inferior to Interstellar. I do, however, want to use it on war and see if we can maybe hit something. I don't know if there's any other broken guns, but if they follow the same kind of concept, then maybe we can use some other broken guns. Let's check out the Modern Warfare 2 pistols. Let's see if we can break anything. How about this one, the 9mm Damon? Oh, okay, we ran out of time. Drain damage? His name is Drain Damage. I done got me some of that Drain Damage. You know, one thing I've learned so far is that Modern Warfare 2 guns really are trash in this game. Bro, I'm at that point where, like, people are spamming meta builds in war. Like, what is happening? It's fucking war! Even my favorite game mode is starting to get this stuff happening. No one wants to play with a single ounce of originality anymore. They just want to copy and paste each other's favorite builds. Like the, the best meta build. Yeah, they don't want to use anything different. It's so sad. And we wonder why COD gets so stale and boring. Everyone wants to use the same two guns. I'm okay with it in ranked play. It makes sense in ranked. This is war. Vortex. 10v10. It doesn't matter what we're playing. It's all pubs. Who cares? I don't know if I'm just getting salty because the Modern Warfare 2 guns are horrible in this game. That's probably exactly what it is. But still, dude, it's just, it's melting my brain. I'm getting actual drain damage. Wait, I could go for long shots back here. Yay. All right. Can't play it for enjoyment. Can't even play it while suffering. What do I even do now? Psst. But that's good for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me check out the invisible gun glitch on Modern Warfare 3. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more weird gun glitches or goofy builds like this, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Outcome. Tangle.